What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Jedi Jive. Jenny's back. And yeah. We're, we're reacting to the Acolyte. We just did uh, episode one. It was a mysterious and intriguing episode. Leaves me wanting more and wanting to know what's really going on. Yeah. Uh, episode two is, uh, looks like it's about the same length. So we're getting a solid like hour plus, hour and a half of Star Wars material right off the bat here, which is, yeah. we're always kind of bummed out when things look like they're like, we're expecting something to be 40 minutes long and then it's like 20 minutes and we're right. like, wait. So knowing that these first two episodes are both in the 40 minute range, yeah. I'm already like, okay, good. We're going to get, a, we're going to get our, our money's worth here. My big hope for this, it might be in this episode, it might not, but my big hope for the series is that we're going to see more of Carrie on Moss. Yeah through backstory or whatever. A little bit shocking that they, they like killed her right away and it was like, wait, yeah, that could be I it I love her, her. And they killed her right off. So yeah, I was I really, really excited for, to see more. And she was crushing it too. She yeah. was, that was <laughs> like, she was one of the chillest sort of like, like least bothered Jedis I've ever seen. So like balanced. Um, so yeah, the main thing that we were kind of questioning in, in this last episode was like, wait, wait, is her sister May a real person like separate person or is she like a, a alter ego yeah. yeah or is like is she just a ghost or like what what is really going on here but then we see her or her in the purple right, is right. that like who May? is this what is this although they did show them as little sisters looking different so but they're yeah. supposed to be twins so it it was just, it wasn't that it was vague. It was very up in the air about what's really going on. So it was like, okay, they're, they're purposefully being a little cagey, uh, a little cloudy here. Yeah. Um, and hopefully we'll get to see some of this revealed. Let's find out. Let's find out, guys. Let's not waste time. Let's jump in and then we'll talk about it afterwards. Olega. Olega. These Do are all planets planet I've planet never heard are, of. These nope. are new planets. Yep. Local Jedi Temple. <laughs> A two eyed version. Attack me with all your strength. Nice. He's just got like a force field up. Nice. <laughs> Carrie Ann Moss was it's just as chill, and she managed to kill her. Hey, Padawan. You could try repolarizing the power couplings. You must be a pilot then. No, I'm a mech mech. I thought that only our two droids did the outer ship work. Well, any astromech can do the job, but I'm better company than a droid. Way more flexible. <laughs> I must protest over not restraining the prisoner. She has escaped once before. Let's say this, this twin theory holds true. <laughs> they could be working together. Don't let fear affect your judgment. <laughs> Her name is May. She was presumed dead 16 years ago. But I believe she is responsible for Indara's murder. I'm inclined to agree. There's been another incident. A suspect matching Osha's description broke into a local Jedi okay. temple. Okay. Would you like me to investigate or bring Osha back to Coruscant? Go investigate. We're not escorting the prisoner back to... Osha is coming with us. Setting course for Olega. <laughs> Hello? Hey. Ah, I waited up all night. Where have you been? Out there risking my life. So did you kill the guy? I was this close and I couldn't land a single blow. I need you to make me a poison. Bunta? Really? I'm running out of time. I have two Jedi to kill after Torben. And I will kill one of them without a weapon and please the master. Don't you think what we do is so, uh, stressful? So we don't really know why she holds the Jedi responsible for whatever happened to her. The Jedi justify their galactic dominance in the name of peace. Torben is not the serene and, as you say, impenetrable meditator. What he really needs is something 
Only you can give them. It's a space martini. Uh. Absolution. Some cocktail. To kill him. Kill, Thank you. Poison him. It wouldn't bode well for either of us if we told him about this. Of course. Do you believe the maze behind the Indara's murder? It's the only way to explain all of this. She must have survived somehow, even though we saw her. I wanted to save you both. What happened that night wasn't your fault, Sol. I've told you that. And I have made peace with what happened on Brandog. I know you have. That was a lesson you tried to teach me, to accept what I'd lost. And I wasn't a very good student. Perhaps I wasn't a very good teacher. Coming up on Olega. Welcome to Olega. We didn't think Coruscant would be interested in our little break-in. This crime may be connected to another open investigation. <laughs> this guy's still meditating. Permanent meditation. Oh, but this time they're right outside. She can't get past his bubble. How's she gonna poison what happened last night? You thought this life would give you the peace you seek. But your past still haunts you. I would like to speak with Master Torben, please. Master Torben hasn't spoken to anyone in over ten years. <laughs> <laughs> just, been, just been sleeping there for ten in the air. Confess your crime to the Jedi Council. Or receive the forgiveness you seek. Right here, right now, from me. Okay. So wait, she knows he has a guilty conscience or something? She's There's trying some to meditate she's guilt mad away. At them. Oh, he descends. I've been waiting for you, mate. So why didn't you so wake up the first so he time? Knows her. <laughs> Forgive me. We thought we were doing the right thing. By doing what? So two down, and she said she has two more to go, right? I don't, I don't know how many she said total, but... I think she said she has two more to go. So yeah. there's like some... She's got to murder a bunch of Jedi Some who, group of four Jedi yeah. who wronged her in some way, and we don't know what happened to her, or why they thought she was dead. Step away from the body. I know what this looks like, but I can explain. Do not move. He was poisoned. How do you know? She didn't do it. My sights were on her the entire time. This master was dead when we arrived. Thank you, Yord. Also, there were no signs of struggle. It took this poison willingly. Why would Master Torben kill himself? This is Bunta, from my home planet. Hmm. We can send her in. She can talk to him. That way, we have a lead on May, plus we also get a confession from him. Seems like the most logical way. Not if he knows who she is. We Maybe they told him. Right. Yeah, it's like. Good one. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey, you? buddy! <laughs> What's up? Hello. Hi. 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 You alright? I wanted to see you. Did the poison work? That's it. That's all we need. Let's pull her out. Wait! You're acting so strange. Wait. You killed Torben without the poison. He will be so pleased. No, I used it. I just wanted to thank you. See, he knows about he the Sith guy. Exactly. Yeah, he knows it's okay, not her. He knows. Yeah, he knows. Okay. Where's May? Hold on, hold on. We know you supplied May with the poison that killed Master Tobin. This, this is her. I didn't know what she was going to do with that stuff. If you cooperate, we will consider letting you go with a warning. Please don't do the memory wipe thing or whatever it is you guys do. <laughs> what is your relationship to May? Yeah. Uh, I'm just her supplier. Does May have a master? Is someone training her? I, I have no idea what's, what's going on with that girl. All I know is that she wants revenge on four Jedi. If you want to get to her, She'll be back here tonight. He's probably the fourth one. 
That, I was wondering if he was on her yeah. list. But it, it depends what happened to her. I have a bad feeling about mm. this. <laughs> <laughs> they put her in there. You would stick to the plan. Do not interfere. I didn't know you were still so angry. She killed my family. She destroyed my life. This is grief. Let it go. You are not my master. I deserve justice. You want revenge. Look what revenge has done to your sister. I couldn't save her when you were children. She wants to kill four Jedi. Stationed on Brendok 16 years ago. Indara, Torben, yep. Kalnaka, and you. She wants to kill you. Have faith in me. Then have faith in me. I see her. How did you do it? Hey! You survived. You killed Indara and Tobin. <laughs> nice. You attack me without a weapon. Why? Dude, so much of the kung fu. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Squid Game, mother. <laughs> nice. Your master has failed you. Tell me, who trained you? I see your master has taken great pains to hide his identity. Even from you, you couldn't tell me who he is, even if you wanted Ooh. to. Get out of my head, Jedi. <laughs> even after all this time, your thoughts still go to your sister. My sister is dead! Osha is alive. You lie! Huh. <laughs> he speaks the truth. Osha lives. Under arrest. Lay your weapons down and surrender. What? Escape plan. Magic trick? No, she just like dust created bomb? a dust cloud and then left. We are headed to the city gates. We have to stop May before she escapes from Olega. So that was an intentional miss. <laughs> yeah, he knows. You let her get away. Your old Padawan going rogue was one thing, but now a trained outsider is responsible. But we know where she's going next. We must we move- We don't make decisions like this without meaningful discussion, Soul. I can get us out of this city. And go where? Kofar. What the hell's Kofar? A relaxing forest retreat in the Outer Rim, where the Wookiee Jedi lives. Yes, let's go there. Kelnaka. Oh, Kelnaka. Oh, she's alive. Bring me a Wookiee Jedi. That's the third Jedi. Okay, so she's got to... It wasn't rhetorical. She actually has to kill a Wookiee Jedi. Sweet. Getting Corrado for Anko attack. Get Seta, La Doma, Toma, Mota, on top of a punch. Ha! <laughs> Sweet. We've seen uh 
Wookiee Padawans in Clone Wars, so we've never seen a fully grown Wookiee Jedi. Cool. So, the question we had in the first episode got answered. They are two separate people. May is her twin sister. But there are a million more questions about May. Like, mm. why did she start the fire that killed her family? Yes. How did she survive? Yes. How did the Jedi what wrong her? What happened to her? And how did the yeah. Jedi wrong her? Why yeah. is she so bent on revenge? And, and then, how did she not know that Osha survived? Mm -hmm. So there's just a million questions. Not to mention who's training her and how how come she doesn't know who they that are. That Sith character or that the right, red lightsaber the Sith character. character. And then on top of that, the Torben Jedi guy willingly committed suicide. So it seems like somebody really did wrong like her. He like he, yeah. he knew he Part had Part of the done reason he's been wrong. meditating for 10 years is because he's like... Absolving his yeah, own exactly. guilt. Yeah, exactly. So it seemed like, oh my God. So one thing that is super interesting about all this is that it is very sort of gray area all around in the like good guy, bad guy sense. And that it's like, oh, some of these e bad characters aren't bad people. They just have their own motivations and their own. Mm -hmm. And then there's this sort of like you're seeing the like bureaucracy, bureaucracy and cover up bullshit and nonsense going on with the Jedi where it's like the good guys aren't all just like straight good guys either. They're kind right, of right. full of crap in their own way. So. Right. Um, and then there's characters like this Yord guy where it's like he's a Jedi like through and through, but he seems like a little too much sometimes. Like he's a little he's too gung-ho about himself his... himself yeah. too. Um, so he's got his own, you know, ways about him that make him not really a good guy, even though he's on the good guy's team. Right. So there's, you know, there's a lot of that sort of gray area in every character, which is like, I appreciate that in Star Wars. Um, I like the air of mystery that kind of hangs yeah, over the whole very, thing. Yeah, very mysterious right now. Very much a sort of like okay, the details are getting revealed slowly. It's the mystery slow burn, is unraveling. Though, and it's, uh, I mean, even the way the music and the sound is done feels like a sort of thriller, mm. slow burn type of story. It does line. feel like it's going to build up to some sort of like drop or reveal or yeah. twist that's going to be like, oh, okay, like, and then we'll be like, I, yeah. Um, but I am sort of further disappointed now that it does seem like that, that Carrie Ann Moss was just, it's one and one done. really cool fight scene. I mean, amazing fight scene. She but was like, like, I would love to have seen more from that. She character. was like a Buddhist monk. She was so unperturbed yeah. by the entire thing. But yeah, I would really, even if it's in the form of like some kind of backstory or flashback or something, I would really like to see more from her. Yeah. And like so. uh, lightsabers have gotten pulled out a couple times, but it was, they were never like to fight or to clash. It was always just sort of Yeah. Like, the fight has been straight up martial arts. Straight up Kung Fu the whole time. Yeah. And it's been really good choreography. Yeah. So it's very like, good. Um, but also they've been kind of like the Sith guy said to her. Like if you attack a Jedi with a weapon, then you're you're that's yeah. You it. have to kill the dream or something. Kill the idea. So it, that's why the 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 main Jedi guy was like, "You're attacking me without a weapon. You're attacking without a." It's like there's, there's some like like they can only like they can't. I don't know. It, for whatever. And how does her killing four Jedi equate to her killing the dream? I mean, what is that? <laughs> Just more questions. Nothing but questions around this storyline right now. What is it that uh, Saw Gerrera says in Rogue One? He's like, save the dream! <laughs> <laughs> Bull gullet! Okay, guys, it's it's interesting. Uh, there's like definitely like that air of mystery and that, like, ooh, what really is happening? So it's 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 mysterious and it's uh, it's interesting so far. So far, like I said, the grayness of the characters is obviously that red lightsaber Sith Master guy that's... Training Pulling her May strings yeah. is like is like the real bad guy, but the other characters are like redeemable. Sure, they have that. Yeah, yeah. But you're hoping that May does get saved. Yeah, you don't want her to. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, you know, along the for the ride, we'll have a lot of good kung fu choreography. Yeah. And, um, we'll see what happens. Guys, excited uh, for the show. I'm glad we're back. I'm glad Jenny's back. It's so awesome that you're back. Like I said, everything feels right in the world now yes. that you're here. Um. I'm sure everyone at Jedi Jive agrees, Jenny. Oh, but uh, guys, we're excited to hear what you thought too. Um, what are you looking forward to in the show? What are your predictions? Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to see reactions fully unedited, go to patreon.com slash Jedi Jive. You can support us there. And that's where we put up those reactions. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.